What's going on everybody, Matt with Lathrum. We're inside Ultium Designer today, and for those of you who you know have this software or are getting into this kind of software and you're not exactly quite sure how to do a few things, i.e. in this case, change the paper size for your schematic, it's actually not that hard, it's just not exactly something that points out to you all the time. So in this little quick tip for the sake of argument here, um, if your window looks like this, uh, you have your libraries up here, you can actually come down to your properties and then click on an empty space in the paper. And you'll see right here, your general information and your page options. Right now we're set up to mil uh, mils instead of millimeters. Uh, we're gonna come down here to where it says standard sheet size and we're gonna change this from in our case, A to B, go from A paper to B paper, leave that on landscape, and pretty much everything else is good to go. Uh, if you wanted to change that to C paper, D paper, you know, so on and so forth, whatever you want, that's how you do it. If your properties window is not docked like it is here, you just go up here to view, go to panels, and then you can come down here to properties, uh, in this case, I just turned it off, but we'll go back down to properties and it'll pop up over here where it's supposed to be. Now, don't get me wrong. There may be another way to go about doing it, but I'm not exactly aware of it. You know, a simpler way to do it. Uh, so yeah, that's how I always do it. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, drop them in the comment box below. And we're actually going to go forward with a couple more of these Altium designer videos, but uh, that'll come in a little bit. For now, I'll catch you guys later. 